Hello, this is a segment of small bowel and the pathology here is intersusception. So what has happened is that this part of the small bowel has telescoped into this part. So the telescoped part is the intersusceptum and the receiving part is referred to as the intersuscipients. You can see that the parts have been labelled here. And in fact, if you look at this picture, we can actually see that the mesentery has been pulled along into this uh, area of intersusception. So there are several things that can happen as a result of this. First of all, there is intestinal obstruction because this part, uh, the lumen is actually narrowed and the patient will present with symptoms and signs accordingly. Also, because the mesentery is actually pulled in and compressed, there is also vascular compromise. This can give rise to congestion and even hemorrhagic infarction, which eventually can lead to perforation and peritonitis. So this has to be treated and reduced. Um, and if the area of affected bowel is already infected, then it has to be resected. In terms of the causes of intersusception, sometimes uh, polyps or tumours, anything that is mechanically abnormal can give rise to intersusception. So it is important to also look around for these potential underlying causes. Here is an example of a different case and you can see here that this is the area of intersusception um, and if you look closely we are actually able to make out that there is a polyp here right at the leading edge of the intersusception. In fact, the rest of the colon shows the presence of several other polyps as you can see. So this is probably a case of polyposis, uh, perhaps attenuated polyposis because there aren't that many polyps, but certainly we can see that this is likely to be the mechanical cause of the intersusception. Here is yet another example of a colon with several polyps, and this is the area of intersusception, and we can even see that the vessels are very congested in this area of compressed mesentery. So in summary, this is an example of intersusception and clinically these patients uh, may experience intestinal obstruction and if left untreated, this can give rise to bowel ischemia, infarction and also perforation.